Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be giving you a lot of different stocking stuffer ideas. I have 22 different ideas for you. Eight specifically for men, eight specifically for women, and six that can go either way. So let's jump right in to the men's stocking stuffers first as I feel like that this can sometimes be the hardest people to buy stocking stuffers for. And the first thing that I'm going to recommend is a magnetic wristband and you can find these on Amazon. And, and what this allows your guy to do is whenever he's working with something, whether it's putting in a piece of furniture together, hanging up some pictures, messing around in the garage, is he can put all of his small screws, bolts, um, Allen wrenches, that type of small metal onto this wristband and it holds it so he doesn't have to worry about screws dropping and having to look for them or trying to find that tiny piece amongst a whole slew of tools. And I've given one both to my husband and to my father and they both really enjoy them for small jobs. So I think this is a really great option for someone who likes to be a little bit handy. Additionally, if you have someone who is a bit of an outdoorsman, I would really recommend getting them some stormproof, waterproof matches. These are super cool. They're a lot of fun. I gave some to my dad one year in his stocking and immediately he filled up a big bowl of water, lit the match, dropped the match in, and watched it burn. Then he dunked his one of his matches into the water, lit it, watched it burn, and he had a whole lot of fun with that. Um, even just inside before he even got outside. It, and so this is not only something that is really useful if they're an outdoorsman, but it's also a lot of fun too. The third thing that I'm going to recommend is something called a Handy Bright, and this is an As Seen On TV item. I gave this to my dad, my husband, my brother-in-law, and my father-in-law last year for Christmas, and they kind of thought that it was a little bit it hokey, I guess, because it was an as seen on TV item, but this thing, it is magnetic, so it can stick to the bottom of whatever you're working on. It is super bright, and my father-in-law actually said that while he thought that it was probably his most ridiculous Christmas gift, he actually has found it to be his most useful and his favorite Christmas gift from last year because it is so actually handy and it is very bright as well, as the name would suggest. Item number four is going to be for the Star Wars lover in your life, and that is lightsaber chopsticks. They come in a variety of colors from purple, yellow, green, blue, and red. You can also get combo packs with multiple colors in them, and these are just really fun if you have someone who really enjoys eating noodles or eating rice. I think that this is a great idea to give them a little bit of fun along with their meal. Number five is going to be moleskin notebooks. So much of the time whenever we're looking at stationery, we're looking at for women and there are tons of fun colors and patterns out there for them. But I think that going with a solid colored moleskin notebook is a really great stocking stuffer for a guy because of the fact that one, it's hard to find something but like if you have someone who they like to write down recipes, they like to jot ideas, they like to keep track of projects that they're working on, this is a really nice gift to give them that is very usable, but also looks really nice and is masculine as well. Number six is going to be the As Seen on Shark Tank Scrub Daddy. My whole family uses Scrub Daddies. We think they're absolutely wonderful. And there are so many different colors that this is a really fun item that you can put in someone's stocking, particularly if, as it goes in our family, my husband does the dishes, I do the laundry, and so this is something that he can use that's also a lot of fun and that he enjoys. These things also last a really long time, and so it's a very durable stocking stuffer as well. Number seven is going to be something off of Etsy, and these are called foodie dice. And what these are is it has a variety of seasonings, meats, or if you are vegan, alternatives to that meat, um, different special ingredients and vegetables that you roll the dice and you're able to come up with a meal to cook that night. I think this is a really good option for either the guy who loves to cook or the guy who doesn't ever know what to fix. Either way, this helps solve the problem in a really fun way. The final stocking stuffer that I'm going to throw up here is the Napa Wally. 
Now, this is something that my dad insisted that I put in this video. It is a card holder wallet for, or it can be for anyone, but it is very masculine looking. And it is RFID protected. It is super slim, very durable. My dad used to always carry a leather wallet with him when he was in the States and he'd carry something with RFID protection when he was going abroad. But when he bought this wallet and used it, he loved it so much that he ended up using it as his daily wallet every single day. There are lots of slots for cards as well as a area where you can stick in cash and receipts. And so if you have a guy who really is needing a new wallet but doesn't want something very thick, really look into the Napa Wally. Now for women specific stocking stuffers, the first thing that I'm going to suggest is the travel sizes or the small versions of Living Proof Shampoo. I personally really love the Perfect Hair Daily Shampoo, but something that is too expensive for me to normally you know, buy for myself during the year. And so putting little travel balls in is super fun and, and it's also really useful. This is also a way to get some really nice shampoos at a cheaper product price for those women in your life who want to have a little bit something fancy for the shower. Along these same lines are the spongels, or I've also heard them pronounced spongelies, which to me sound a lot more fun. And these are a you know, um, body soap infused sponge and it is an exfoliating sponge. So it is super good for your skin. Um, I have very sensitive skin and none of the different scents that I've tried break my skin out and it makes my skin look so much better and feel so much better as well. I think this is another great stocking stuffer gift. And the two scents that I would really recommend that are my two favorite are the Papaya Yuzu as well as the Sugar Dahlia. I think that those are super nice. There are round versions. There are also versions that are shaped like a flower. They both do the exact same thing. Additionally to the regular sized ones, there are also small travel sized ones. And my husband actually put these in my stocking last year. And so whenever we're going on a trip to the beach or something like that, I will throw one of these in there because it's good for about a week of washing. Whereas the regular one is good for they say 15 washes, but I'm able to use mine for a month and I still have soap coming out of it and it's still working really well. Uh, so that is my second recommendation. Number three for women, continuing on the beauty trend, is the wet brush, and specifically the flexible one. So I'm gonna actually grab mine. So the wet brand wet brushes, they come in a lot of different ones, but I'm really recommending this one that flexes, and you can find these at Target, you can find them at TJ Maxx. I got mine from my hairdresser, and it is this amazing iridescent colorway that reminds me of the Chanel iridescent that they brought out for this past season. And this is so good on your hair. It was wonderful when I had really long hair because it would bend and flex with it. Whereas a lot of times, as you know, as a girl, it can be really hard on your hair, particularly the longer that it gets to brush it out when it's wet. But this, because it flexed and bent with my hair, it wasn't breaking my hair, it didn't hurt my head. And so I think this is a really great practical stocking stuffer. Additionally, for the tub, another thing that I would recommend getting, particularly for those who have medium to longer hair is a tub shroom. I think that these are fantastic. They catch the hair so that you don't have to worry about unclogging the drain or asking someone to help you unclog your drain. And these are super practical. Most of the girls I know have them, but if the person that you are buying stocking stuffers for does not have a tub shroom, absolutely put this in their stocking stuffer because it is going to make their life so much easier when it comes to keeping their home and specifically their shower clean. The next item that I want to talk about is going to be the kit shoe, I believe it's called. I'll check the name and I'll have it in a link in the description down below. But these are terry cloth scrunchies and they are very big, very flexible. But what these are great for is after you take a shower, wrapping your hair up in this as opposed to like a head towel that you have to like turban up and all that kind of stuff. Um, these are super absorbent. They have worked really well when I had longer hair. They've worked really well when I got my hair cut substantially about a month and a half ago. And they keep my hair from getting frizzy, but they also help it dry a lot faster, which cuts down the amount of time that I have to use with a blow dryer. So I think that this is a fantastic stocking stuffer. I believe they come in packs of two. The reason I'm saying I believe is because my aunt's actually the one who gifted me these for my birthday. 
So I've been using them for over six months and I think that they're absolutely fantastic. The next thing that I'm going to recommend is actually something that was, I believe the first item that I talked about in my gift guide, but I think that it is great if you wanna do an upscale stocking stuffer as well. And that is the Chanel nail polish. There are so many wonderful colors. Plus it's something Chanel that you can put as a luxury name inside of any woman's stocking and they will be super happy to get it. I'm specifically recommending the Chanel over other brands because it holds up really well. It's very beautiful, very durable. And out of the luxury brands, I feel like that's probably one of the better priced ones. For instance, Hermes came out with one, but it's nearly twice the price. And I don't think that's necessarily worth twice the price. So the next to the last item that I have on the list for women is going to be a wooden initial spoon. My husband has so much fun wrapping these up for my mom. We've gotten her two now. I've also gotten one as well. And I absolutely love these. They are super high quality, but also because my family wraps up stocking stuffers, it is really fun to wrap something up exactly as the shape of the item that it is. So while they know what they're getting, they don't know how nice of a stocking stuffer this is until they fully unwrapped it. And I think that if you don't have one of these wooden initial spoons from Williams-Sonoma, you should absolutely get either their first or their last initial in these spoons. Or if you want to get all three of their initials to complete a set, go for that as well. Finally, the last thing that I want to talk about is mindful or grateful cards. And I will link a link down below to an Etsy shop with the ones I'm specifically recommending. But these are cards that they give you different things to either be thankful for or to think about or to do throughout your day to really help with your mental health. As we all know through these past two years, mental health has really been something that we have all started to focus a lot more on and I think that that is a wonderful thing. So giving someone these mindful cards in their stocking in order to help them start out the new year on a positive foot, I think is a wonderful thing to put in specifically for women as they are a bit more girly colors for a lot of the versions that they have coming out. Now, finally, for my six unisex options, the first thing that I'm going to suggest is a pair of toast tongs. You can normally pick these up for a buck or two, but it is a super fun little thing to add to a stocking stuffer that you wouldn't necessarily buy for yourself, but it's also a really cheap option to put inside of a stocking stuffer for something that's useful because it's wonderful to have these little things in order to pull toast, bagels, English muffins, whatever you want out of your toaster, I think that these are a great option. Next is going to be putting in socks. My family is a big believer that you absolutely need stock socks every year in your stocking. I think my mom gave my husband like 13 pairs in his stocking last year and basically filled his stocking full of socks. And the J Crew ones are fabulous for men. I love the J Crew women's camp socks. I believe Ugg is actually doing a really soft pair of socks right now. Or also look into getting them a sports team pair of socks. For instance, if you are going to an event where you can't necessarily be in your game day gear, you can absolutely still be supporting your team, male or female, with a wonderful pair of sporting socks. And I have tons of pairs for my team. My dad has tons of pairs for different teams that he's a fan of. And I think that this is a really fun stocking stuffer that can also fill up a lot of room in the stocking. Another thing that I'm going to recommend is for those of us who are on our phones probably too much and have our phones dying towards the end of the day, look into putting a six or nine foot long cord and I think Amazon Basics has a wonderful one into their stocking because that gives them more flexibility with the cord to put it in different places and to be able to use it like if they're sitting on a couch or sitting in their chair or even just sitting in the bed where the cord is not pulling on the phone as much because that can lead to damage to the cord. And so I think this is a really great option. I have multiple ones all over my house. My parents have multiple ones all over their house. I believe that my father-in-law has multiple ones all over his house. And so this is a really useful gift, whether it's for a male or for a female, as everyone probably needs their phone charged at some point and a cord that is the standard one that comes with your phone might not necessarily get the job done. Another thing that I wanna suggest is putting a magazine into a stocking. 
you know, any type of magazine, whether it's a book of crossword puzzles or of Sudoku puzzles or a magazine featuring a sports team or talking about a movie, talking about a person, giving recipes, whatever it may be, this is really nice to have, particularly on Christmas afternoon when you're just sitting around and you've had a wonderful meal, you're tired from opening gifts. It's really nice just to have that nice thing that you can flip through, work in, do things a little bit mindlessly, but still have something to do in the afternoon. I would recommend staying away from the Christmas magazines as that is only good for Christmas Day. But absolutely, this is something that there's always some type of a book item in each of our stockings in my parents' house on Christmas Day. And I think that it would be a wonderful thing to put in your family member's stockings as well. The next to last item that I'm going to be suggesting is going to be chocolate based. And I have two suggestions here. One is going to be Lauderock chocolate. Now, I had never heard of this brand before until back in the fall, my husband and I were walking around the Mall Millennia and we saw this new chocolate store that had just opened up. They are a Swiss brand. They do have stores within some locations in the US. They also will ship anywhere in the US. And I'm, I'm not even kidding. Every single truffle that we ate, every single piece of bark that they let us sample, all of it was just absolutely amazing. Blew every other type of chocolate out of the water, whether that be Lit or Godiva or Russell Stover's or anything else, I think that they are fabulous. Now, if this is not up your alley, you, how about hot chocolate? I think that Godiva does an excellent hot chocolate, be it milk hot chocolate or dark hot chocolate. They come in cans, great to stuff inside of that stocking stuffer. My husband and I drink it all year long, particularly mixed with milk. I think it's how it turns out to be the best. And I would absolutely say definitely get a can of hot chocolate if you have a hot chocolate lover in your family that you are buying a stocking stuffer for. Now, the final thing on this list is going to be for the coffee lovers. If they have a Keurig or an espresso, absolutely get them a sleeve of coffee. I think that the Nespresso ones, Keurig ones typically come in a box, but the Nespresso ones come in a true rectangular sleeve, and they have so many wonderful limited editions out at Christmas time. Right now they have a Kona coffee one that's amazing. There is, and I'll put the name of it down there, but it's like a nutty, free type of coffee that is really good and they just have so many wonderful flavors in those sleeves and i think it is a wonderful option for someone particularly if they have an espresso or if they have a keurig even if the box of the keurig cups don't fit you can absolutely just pour a few in the stocking stuffer and i think that is a wonderful option to stick in there as well so I hope that this has been helpful to you, giving you some ideas for stocking stuffers for both the men and the women in your life. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye!